So for more, we cross now to our Germany correspondent, Paulina Garayev. She joins us from Berlin. Paulina, relatives of the victims of the Munich massacre were set to boycott Monday's ceremony. That's changed now. Tell us more. What is the latest? Well, according to reports, um, we have seen um, a compromise between uh, the families that were demanding a better offer from German authorities who reportedly were um, offering a, a compensation in the amount of half a million euros per uh, per victim. This was much less um, than what the, ha the families were hoping for. And they did originally announce that they're boycotting the event, hoping to pressure the German government in order to submit a better offer. This indeed worked. Um, and with this, of course, uh, this announcement coming from the families is uh, received with a sigh of relief from German authorities who would have faced an embarrassment uh, if the families and, of course, all official Israeli representatives boycotted the event. When the commemoration events were announced, um, the German authorities were publicizing that this is the first time that relatives of the victims will be attending official events. Um, and of course, now it's, it looks like everything is going to uh, go as planned, at least uh, in terms of what uh, the uh, German authorities had in mind to commemorate this strategy. It will begin on Monday with a small ceremony in the Olympic Village in Munich uh, where this massacre began and will end with a bigger official ceremony attended by leaders and officials from both countries at the airport in Fustenzenbrook near Munich where the failed rescue attempt by German authority took place and of course where members of the Israeli delegation were murdered. 50 years later, quite incredible to think of the time that has passed. Paulina, Israel's President Isaac Herzog and his counterpart Frank Walter Steinmeier issuing that statement saying this agreement can't heal the wounds but it includes an acceptance of responsibility on Germany's part. Talk us through how relations have been impacted by this ongoing compensation fight by the families over all this time. Well, of course, this is not a new discussion. And it's also not the first time that Germany is paying compensations to the families. But those were symbolic amounts without truly taking responsibility for the failure of German authorities to truly uh, to efficiently handle the situation. Um, and I remind you, this was still not too long after the Holocaust. And this was also impacted the, the disappointment, the, um, the criticism over Germany and how the efforts that it uh, put in into trying to save the Israeli athletes. Um, the compensations, as I mentioned before, were symbolic. Now we're talking about much more uh, significant amounts. According to reports, the, the offered amount is 28 uh, million euros in total. Uh, that amounts to about 1.2 million uh, euros per family. Um, of course, this is not, um, you know, putting a monetary value on human lives is very difficult. And but this is only part of what the families were hoping to receive from um, the German authorities. Another aspect is, of course, additional information. And it, it is reported that as part of the agreement, German authorities will declassify information uh, about what transpired behind the scenes, uh, what led to the failed rescue attempt. Um, and also, we are going to see this, of course, again, during during the, the ceremonies on, on Monday, Germany will take public responsibility and admit its failures, which is something that it hasn't really done uh, before. Um, so this will go a long way in, towards healing the wounds. Again, as uh, leaders from both countries says, it's, it's impossible to really um, eliminate or reduce the, the, the depth, the extent of the German failure um, in handling this um, terror attack. But of course, having German authorities admit this will, will help a, a both sides move on um, and not and not let this overshadow future ties. A story being watched very carefully from this part of the world. Germany correspondent Paulina Garayev live from Berlin. Thank you.